told me about this also there. Oh, what are we going to do? I hope Earl knows what to do. Oh no, there's a hole in the ozone layer. Oh, someone help. Someone help. There's a hole in the ozone layer. Oh, help. Polly and I majored in knitting in high school. Yeah, we could patch up the hole with the knitting. Hmm, no way. I don't think that'll work. This project was inspired by Wallace and Gromit, and support was provided by C2K Curriculum Consultants. Over 50 pupils were engaged in this cross-curricular project. Guided by two highly motivated and inspirational teachers, pupils exchanged initial thoughts and ideas in a whole class mind mapping exercise. The main storyline for the animation developed from these early mind maps. Working in small groups, children used a variety of web and traditional library skills to compile and then distill factual information they had gathered about the ozone layer and life in Antarctica. In this way, they ensured the accuracy of any scientific data mentioned in the movie. A wide range of art design skills and techniques were used by the pupils. They had tremendous fun as they collaborated in the creation of visually stunning models, costumes and sets. Children became totally engrossed in the project. As filming progressed, suggestions for improvement meant that scripts often had to be edited and redrafted. An editorial team took final responsibility for any changes. Storyboard production was a crucial part of the planning process. Working in cooperation with the scripting editors, the storyboard artists produced easy to follow guidelines for both directors and cameramen. I had the job of directing some of the scenes. These storyboards really helped me. Every pupil involved in the project had an opportunity to use the Canon camera. This was truly an inclusive project. There was a lot of hard work involved in this movie. Did you know that we used over 2,000 clips? The Apple e proved to be a totally appropriate solution in this case, as children refined their newly acquired editing skills. The children also composed and performed their own soundtrack, as well as providing some wonderful voiceovers. One. Voice of Earl. Hi, I did the voice of Polly. And I did the voice of Pete. 